Being clear on what you're trying to build and the outcomes you want to deliver can be hugely helpful. I don't know if you knew this, but the data shows simply writing down your goals double your chance of success. And I reckon if you go the extra step and put a plan in place, then, it, then it's times 10. If you've heard the phrase, start with the end in mind, then this is what we're talking about here. Then you can start to see the issues and the challenges that you face on your journey. If you decided to walk to the North Pole, that's a pretty tough challenge, right? So it makes sense to plan how you're going to get there, what equipment and support you need. It wouldn't be a great strategy just to jump off the ferry in Oslo with a rucksack and start asking for directions. And I know it sounds obvious, but start with your end in mind. Think about your personal aspirations, not just the size of your business. Yes, numbers are important. It makes sense to have an idea of, of turnover and profits. But there are other things that I think are just as important. Work-life balance is one example. If you're having to do 60 to 70 hours a week to be successful, is that a trade-off you're happy with? Think about what role you want in your business. What is it you want to do? And just as importantly, what would you rather wish somebody else did for you? What's your exit? That's a really good question. The best investor I ever met gave me a great piece of advice. He said, always keep one eye on the exit. So if you plan to sell your business, then it needs to be in good shape. If your business is your pension, then again, it needs to be ready to do that for you. All of these and more really benefit from being clear about what it is you want to deliver at the end. And then you can put a plan in place to deliver those goals, but on your terms.